Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I am currently in San Francisco, hence this very different background. Um, if you're new to my channel, by the way, my name is Michelle, but I go by the nickname Mish, and this is my YouTube channel where I do vlogs, mainly about food, but then I sprinkle a bit of my life in there, uh, especially since I have moved to Seattle and will be leaving in a month. That's a bit about me, but... But that is not why you clicked on this video. You clicked on this video because you saw that it was a mochi mukbang. There are six mochis here. Recently, I found on Instagram someone that posted about this place called Bank Bank Yodo. I think that's what it's called. It's in Japantown in San Francisco. They have been there since 1906, so over a hundred years. And they do a range of mochi fresh. And it's also cash only, by the way, if you do go. And I myself, mochi, I know I say a lot of food is my favorite, but mochi is my favorite food. And I've written down the flavors here. I've also got some tea here to cleanse the palate. So let's get started. Oh wait, before I get started though, just wanna say that I am filming this video to test try all the flavors. I am not attempting and will not be attempting to eat all of them. I wanna save some for Tony too. So the main point of this video is actually just to show you the mochi as well as what's mainly the flavors and the inside, so. There are three that are kind of white with pink tones, so I'm not too sure which one it is, so we're just gonna have to see how it goes. Mmm! Mmm! Oh my gosh. This is the one with the peanut butter inside. Oh my gosh. And it's crunchy peanut butter, my absolute favorite. Mmm, so good. The mochi on the outside is so soft, super chewy, and inside it is filled to the brim with peanut butter. I'm gonna save half of them all for toning. That one was amazing. Okay, the next one I'm gonna try is this green one here. Let's see what it is. Mmm. This one has got red beans, full of red beans in the middle. I think this one is the Yamogi, I think. I'm not too sure. Mm. The red bean has the perfect amount of sweetness. Ooh, is it really good? It's so good, T. This is everything I wished for. Really? And the mochi, it's a little bit thicker than I thought it was gonna be, but it's actually, it doesn't feel like it's too rice cakey, you know? Like, there's so much filling, the ratio to the mochi is perfect. Next, let's go for strawberry. Now, she says strawberry was the famous one there, so I'm super excited to try this one. <gasps> mm! It's got the fresh strawberry inside! Can you see? And it's got like a strawberry mousse in it too. This one is so good. One thing I will say though about the strawberry is that it doesn't go the whole way in the mochi. So you do have quite a bit of the mochi left in this one. So I wanna leave this bite for tea. Next, we're gonna try this one, which I believe is blueberry. This is the blueberry one. Very excited. Mmm. There's actually blue. There's strawberry in there. Okay, this one has a blueberry kind of creamy mousse in the middle. Do you see that? It's a little bit sweeter than the other ones. It's still good. But this one's a little bit sweeter. I'm gonna get a quick drink of tea. I'm genuinely so impressed by how soft these are. It's just they're insanely soft. It's it's amazing. Anyways, this one is mango. I think it said it fresh mango in it, so I'm super excited. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Although I am wondering where this fresh mango is. Can't really see the uh, fresh mango in there. So I don't quite know how, like the first bite was amazing. And then I was like, wait, wait, where's the fresh, fresh mango? <laughs> it's not bad, but it's not my favorite. So far, I think 
Honestly, the first one, the most unexpected one is my favorite, the crunchy peanut butter one. And last but not least, we have this one. This one, which is called Kanako. It has got red bean with a soybean flour dusting on the top. Mmm. Mmm. The soybean flour makes it have like a bit more of a salty uh, flavor to it. It's actually really good. I thought I would like the whole red beans more, but I'm actually surprised. I think I like the one with the smooth red bean a little bit more. I need some tea after all that mochi. Alright guys, that is it for this mochi tasting video. Uh, overall, I liked it, but I kind of thought it would have more fresh fruit in it or the filling would be a bit more, yeah, the filling would have a bit more fresh fruit, especially the ones that did say it was going to have. A lot of them was more of like a paste. And the mochi itself is super chewy and fresh, so I can see why a lot of people love it because this one is super soft and very stretchy. Uh, but yeah, that's it for my mochi mukbang. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video. Bye!